What is up guys and welcome to today's video where we will be covering spray sealer techniques. Now I have about five tips to give you to make sure you do a, a beautiful job on your spray sealing and it is a very important step that in our, a lot of our videos we do not cover so I'm going to give you the tips and tricks to help make sure your sealing job comes out flawless so you can continue on with the rest of your steps of your project. Step number one is, of course, you might hear that I have my respirator on. When you're spraying stuff, always wear your respirator. You want to live, don't you? Of course you do. Don't be crazy. All right, now tip number two is the type of paint you use. I like to use this Rust-Oleum American Accents 2X Matte clear this is the important part don't use glossy use matte that way when you spray sealer over it it's not slick and shiny uh, which will repel your resin when you go to resin it i like to stick with the same brand across the line because i use this is the white ultra matte white this is what i coated that guy right there with and I did this one too before I did this technique. And that's our project piece for the day. That's what we're going to be spraying with this so I can show you good techniques and practices so your job will come out spectacular. Now I like this stuff because it's fast drying, it's super matte finish, and it lays so smoothly and beautifully. What you want to do first is you want to shake it if you don't hear that ball rattling, shake the crap out of it until you hear the ball. The ball is the key because it is inside mixing up all of your paint. If you don't do it, it'll come out kind of runny and it won't lay right. So shake it. Once you hear the rattle, count to 120. Not like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it legit, like 120 seconds. It's two minutes. Shake it for two minutes and then you're ready to move on. All right, next tip is your distance. I like to do at least this far and then back up a little bit more, a few more inches. So you see I'm right here, there's my thing. Do this and back up a few inches. That's, if you're here, you're too close. You're gonna get a big glob, it's gonna run and it's not gonna dry evenly and your finish is not gonna be even. And you run this it has a chance of running whatever you got on here, like your alcohol inks, for, for the instance. If you run it and run it with this, it will run it. Run it. We're running. it. You, you see what I'm saying? Okay, next. Okay, for this next tip, I brought you down to my sprayers players area, which is uh, under my table. That's where I spray. I do go outside most of the time, but this tip is what you want to do is spraying and your pattern and your sweeping motion. What you want to do, you don't want to start here and then go. You want to start your arm going before and after. So if you're sweeping, start here, and you're going, and you're going, and you end here. Come back, start here, spray, 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 go, end here. Get it? Let's see what that looks like in action. I'm gonna do it this way, so. Spray off, spray off. And I chose this project because I got a hair on it. I wanted to show you how this turns green. Not to freak you out, I gotta get that hair off. Get off my project, but I'm gonna wait till it dries because it'll smear it. I wanna show you this, how this latte color turns green, which is crazy, but when it dries, it turns right back to this color. Crazy, and if you wanna see what that's about, click here to watch that video where I did the wood grain and I showed how this turned green and it turned back the way it's supposed to. All right, when you're doing this, you wanna do light coats. And each pass, you're gonna come back over the next pass, overlapping about 50%. It's a rule of thumb. It's not written in stone or paint or wood. Woo okay, the final tip before I reveal to you what I'm turning that project into, uh, through the magic of video and time traveling. The last tip is to wait at least 10 minutes between coats. 
So we just did a nice fog coat. You've seen the beautiful time lapse right there. Wait 10 minutes. If you're not sure about it, you can wait 30 minutes, but don't wait any longer than 30 minutes before you put another coat on. And then what I do is I usually go do something else. Like anytime I do anything, let me get you back up here. Anytime I do something like these projects here, where I sprayed the white on there, I'll just throw it on there and do something else and forget about it. But these guys, that's resin. That's a whole nother story. We're not, we're not covering that. Don't, don't, we're not, we're not talking about that. Stop. Anyway. Spray, anytime you spray this stuff, it's fast drying, it says it is, and it's true, but I give it like 30 minutes, an hour before I do my next step, at least, usually at least an hour. I don't like to rush it. That's when you make mistakes. In all, just take your time. There's my tips. I, I wasn't reading it from my script I, I wrote. Yes, I was. Okay. Anyway, I hope that gave you some value. If I left anything out, please let me know. And if you have any questions about spray a play a seal a, you know what I'm saying? If you have any questions, just drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when I put on new videos. And so as promised in our spray sealer tips, video this is what I turned this into if you remember we sealed this underlying color and I did another wood grain technique on top is for a fly fisherman it's for pop pop actually see I'm, I made the the string or whatever you call it fishing line go into the shape of what they call them pop pop little silhouette and I did some knots real cool stuff but that's it thanks and goodbye